downtown Austin. Folks are currently marching from Republic Square to the Texas State Capitol, a couple blocks from here. Well over a thousand people, maybe more than that. Uh, there's heading from Republic Square all the way to the Congress building. This is, this is the Democrats' fault. They let this happen. We let this happen. I mean, look at the majority that Obama had in his first, yeah, nothing, the Republicans have been saying that they were going to do this mm -hmm. for 50 years since Roe was passed. Right. They've been saying they were going to do this mm -hmm. and, and they did it. They did it and they right. did it and they're not stopping there. This is just the beginning. This is the do nothing Democrats. The one thing that liar Trump was correct about. Well, he's also correct about fake news. Except in a context that he actually used that phrase, but they are fake. But anyway, let's continue. Just the start. So I blame the Democrats. Unfortunately, I'm voting blue. Mm -hmm. uh, like I vote blue, no matter who. I acknowledge that they are the problem, but I'm gonna vote for them anyway instead of voting third party to shake them up and force them to act and do their jobs, <laughs> right? Why do the Democrats not deliver on their promises? Because they have millions of people just like this woman who, well, many of them aren't even as aware as she is. At least she is aware that they are the problem, right? But like the rest of them who aren't aware, one thing that they share, like the rest of them who aren't aware, one thing that they share, okay, I was trying to rhyme, but anyway, um, is that vote blue no matter who. There's no consequences to inaction. You win as a Democrat in a deep blue district, you ain't gotta do a goddamn thing because you can win without doing your job. And even when you lose, you still win because you're protected in a deep blue district, so you're still making $108,000, you still got power, you are still building up your social media following as a, as a Democrat senator, you can get online and post stuff, and, we gotta do better, and, and Americans deserve best, right? Deserve better than this. You know, 30% uh, of poverty, this and that, and 50% and, and, and of the time, and this is it, some statistics. And you don't tag nobody, you don't call nobody's name, right? And then when the establishment leaders of the Democratic Party, the corporatists, when they need something to get done, you just find a way to not get in the way, but seem like you're in the way by angry tweets online where you don't tag nobody. But when it really counts, when there's something you could actually do, like vote against something in a meaningful way, not wait till the last minute to where your vote doesn't count. You know what I mean? Like that's the game that they play, right? When it comes time for you to actually do something, well, you know, parliamentarian, and, uh, you know, well, that's not the way it works, and, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you can't get everything every, exactly the way you want it, Nina Turner. You can't get things exactly the way you want it. Grow up. You know, that's not how it is. You're not gonna get everything. You're gonna get nothing. <laughs> nothing compares to you. Always have, mm -hmm. but uh, this is their fault. So yeah, yeah. Today we had heard statements uh, both from President Biden and Nancy Pelosi. There's nothing sexual about this, guys. If you're thinking stuff sexual, that's on you. Uh, saying that the only way to fix this is to do it through Congress, and that they don't have the votes right now. So everyone needs to go out and vote in November. Uh, what What are your thoughts on our leaders just kind of essentially saying we just need to vote, 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 vote? Ain't she hot in that helmet, or is it helmet here situation? And uh, then they'll then they'll get to it. What are your thoughts on that? Vote harder. You gotta vote harder. Your vote game is weak. If you get us a super, I mean, we had a super majority before. We didn't really do much with it, but we need a super, super, super majority. And then we gonna Superman. We gonna just fix everything. We just, we just, we just need just the, the right amount of votes, right? The right amount of senators. And then all of a sudden, we're gonna start to care. We don't care right now. Well, if we have enough senators, we're going to sit and say, wait a minute. God damn, we got a lot of goddamn senators. We got a super, super, super ass majority right now. You know what? I think it's time that we go and actually do our jobs. Come on, son. Fuck Biden. Fuck Nancy Pelosi. They don't give a shit about us. 
<laughs> oh, I love this lady. Is she single? Come, somebody get me her phone number. We could go suck on some, uh, what is she eating right there? I don't know. They have no understanding or concept of the reality that this is going to cause for many different marginalized individuals. Holy shit. There's a superhero behind her wearing a yellow fanny pack. And identities. Um, it's fucked. I mean, we're, we've got the, <laughs> we've got a Democratic president, Senate, House. Where the fuck did that put us? Exactly. <laughs> You're not voting hard enough. You're not voting hard enough. The, the, the idea that a bunch of people that clearly don't care are going to magically care once they have enough people. Listen, people that care will maximize and fight with whatever they have, right? That's how it is. You are up against an enemy and you don't got no guns. You're going to get the stones from the ground. You're going to get some rubber bands. You're going to make some goddamn slingshots. And you're going to be slinging some shots at the enemy. Right? Not the Democrats. Democrats, well, we don't have any guns. I mean, there's an army coming. I don't expect them to do. Meanwhile, they go on vacation, right? You can't get things exactly what you want. You want us to just somehow magically come up with tanks and missiles and this and that and different things. That's not how it works, you know? It's a piece by piece. And maybe if you vote for enough of us, right? So, so you, got, you, got a, you got 300 of us. Lots of stones, lots of rubber bands, lots of sticks. There's a thing called guerrilla warfare, right? But what are we going to do? Nothing. We're not even going to try. We're going to make a lot of noise. We got to fight. This army is going to try and say, we go, this is not right. This, our army should not, we not going home. We not going to stop. And when the tanks come through, okay, guys, all right, I'm out of here. Vacation time. Uh, do you guys know if the beach is open right now? But if you keep. Adding to the numbers, 350 of them, 400 of them, 500 of them. At some point, you get to a number where they're going to be like, hold up, wait a minute, it's a thousand of us. Maybe, maybe we should actually get to work. That's not how it works. If the Democrats were serious, they would always maximize whatever they have, right? Even as a minority party, you would see them fighting. They try this thing, it failed. They try something else, it failed. They try something else, it, and they keep on. It's like you get tired of them. They just won't stop this minimum wage. They tried this thing with a minimum wage, and this person knocked it down, and then they came back with something else, and that person knocked it down, and then they tried with this thing, and they got the minimum wage up a little bit, but not quite to the level that they promised. So now they're on some new thing. Every day there's some press conference, the Democrats doing something about minimum wage, and this and that, and they're trying this, and such and such say, no, this is not going to happen. So they go and do a fundraiser, and they do something different thing, and, and they just won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. They just like Trump. Just legal. Do you realize what I just did there? Donald Trump was a boss trying to steal the election in 2020 compared to the Democrat Trump. The only problem was his incompetence and the illegality of what he was doing, the unconstitutionality. But the core of, 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 of his strategy, which is can't stop, won't stop, get it, get it. He wouldn't stop. That's one thing we learned about the hearing. He wouldn't stop. They say no, he tries something else. They say no, he tries something else. And he kept trying and trying. Now combine that with competence and within the bounds of the law, and you might have something. Can the Democrats take on a similar principle about the stuff that they run on? We're going to do something about health care. They try to do some tax break thing and uh, well, that don't make any sense. They, they try to t uh, increase taxes on, on, uh, on, the, on the rich. But then, you know, they, they wanted a certain amount of taxes and they didn't get that amount of taxes. They got a smaller amount. But that, that's, a, that's inching towards the goal. Now they have a little bit more money. So they can't expand health care as much as they promised, but they get a little bit of expansion. And then they don't just stop there and celebrate. No. And they don't just say the stop is not we're going to keep fighting, but then they don't actually fight. No. It's like, OK, we got we got five percent. <laughs> right now, let's go for the other 90 percent. Right. This thing had limited 
success, this strategy. We got that little bit of tax. So what? Let's come up. Let's let's come up with some of the ideas. Let's, let's brainstorm. You know what? We're gonna put together a fund. People, let's 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 let's, let's employ our base. Now we got millions of people, millions of ideas and minds. Submit your ideas of what you think we should do to get this healthcare. And the person who comes up with the best idea that we end up utilizing, we're gonna give you 10 grand or something like that, right? Let's be outside the box, let's be creative. Come on guys, every day, every day let's have a meeting. Every single day, we're gonna have a 30 minute meeting. I wanna hear ideas. Give me some ideas about this healthcare thing, right? And we find something that, that seems to have a great potential and then we start pushing it and pushing it and pushing it, right? If that fails, we try something else. Or if it fails, maybe we modify it. Can't stop, won't stop, get it, get it. When will we get a party that delivers like that? I'll tell you what, we're not gonna get it. I know when we're not gonna get it. We're not gonna get it when we have a party that doesn't actually care, that lies to, that says whatever, that votes, right? And we're not gonna stop having all these scam artists until Americans stop being so gullible, right? They were gullible with Obama, gullible with Biden, gullible with Trump. Now we got some fools in the on the left, gullible with Jimmy Dore. Fraud ass Jimmy Dore only cares about himself and his money and his fame. But people again fall into the same trick. So oh, Jimmy Dore is gonna save us. Same trick over and over again. This is the Debate Me channel. Debate me in the comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. Be well. Don't believe the hype. She watched Channel Zero.